Dear loving children, Good morning. How are you all? I hope you all are keeping fine. Now, today, we are studying the English grammar. The second semester, we are going to start. You know, we have already learned the lessons in a jumbled order. Now, we have to start the sixth lesson, that is the pronouns. You know, really, what are pronouns? In the small classes, you have already learned what are pronouns. Now, let's, let us see, let us read the lesson first and then we can then we can explain we'll, you will have an explanation okay it's easy only for you you know you are very intelligent and people and you like english and english grammar no then let us see pronouns you know uh, it is uh, the word itself says us that eh? it is for the nouns if there is a noun we have to repeat again and again and again it will not feel very good that's why we will uh, in our language also we are using uh, he she it etc no that's why instead of telling always the same name see now pronouns are words that stand for nouns and noun phrases. Anju is a businessman. He likes traveling. Ruby, you are a good writer. See, uh, I am a disco dancer, said Midun. Tapan, Ruchi and uh, Zarina will not come to the playground today. They have an exam tomorrow. Don't open the old wooden chest. It is full of cro cockroaches. The fielder is hurt. Take him, take him to the hospital. This is Anil's house. Susha admired herself in the mirror. Who broke the teacup? Vivek broke the teacup. In each of the above sentences, the words in red stand for the words in blue. Blue you can't see but uh, you know the nouns are the blue words. The words in red are pronouns. See here, Anju is a businessman. He likes uh, traveling. You see, here, Anju is the noun and he is the pronoun. Instead of that noun, we can use he. Instead of telling always Anju, 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 we can say he. Ruby, you are a good writer. Ruby is the noun. You is the pronoun. If no, if we are, we are not using this kind of things, no pronouns, we have to say Ruby, Ruby are a good writer. It will not feel good, no? So, uh, to beautify the English, uh, we are then invented uh, you, no? Instead of Ruby, we can say Ruby, uh, you, no? I am a disco dancer, said Mithun. Yeah, I am a disco dancer, said Mithun. Mithun, uh, I am a disco dancer, you can't say. Mithun, a disco dancer, said Mithun. It's not a feeling well. That's why I am a disco dancer, said Midun. So, Midun is the um, noun and I is the pronoun. Tepan, Ruchi and Serena will not come to the playground tomorrow, today. They have an exam tomorrow. Instead of all the three names, uh, uh, it is easy to say they. That is the pronoun for the three names. Don't open old wooden chest. It is full of cro cockroaches. 
wooden chest will not repeat instead of that it's a thing and we are repeating it it's a for things we are telling it so the fielder is hurt take him to the hospital fielder here fielder is the noun and him is the pronoun this is anil's house this is the pronoun for house then susha admired herself herself is the pronoun for susha now susha admired herself in a mirror who broke the cup who is the pronoun uh, that person it is the person here it is not given so in bracket it is given vivek broke the ticket instead of vivek we are using who in each of the above sentences the words in red stand for uh, stand for the pronoun and uh, the words uh, uh, in blue stands for the nouns so let us see the words in red are so pronouns okay now let us go you see the definition is this you see pronouns are words pronouns are definitional pronoun is a, the pronouns are the pronouns are words that stands for nouns or noun phrases okay that is the definition of a pronoun let us see now let us go to the next part there are seven types of pronouns let us see the various types of pronouns are one personal pronouns i you he she it them etc second possessive pronouns my his thus etc third one reflexive pronouns himself yourself ourselves etc then fourth one relative pronouns who which that etc fifth one interrogative pronouns what which then etc demonstrative pronouns this that those etc seventh one definite uh, indefinite pronouns they are some any none etc so these seven pronouns we will go in details no we will go through in details that's why uh, the examples of everything we are learning once more so we are going to the first one personal pronouns say personal pronouns let us read first no personal pronouns are the most important type of pronouns they refer to people things ideas or events he does not know classical music it is refers to a person they are fishermen refers to a group of people then it goes at 250 kilometers per hour it here refers to a thing say the train so train goes at 250 kilometers per hour okay then uh, the drawing presented the theory of evolution uh, means when darwin presented the theory of evolution people did not believe it it refers to an idea tell me the scores of the match when it gets over refers to an event so 
personal pronouns vary according to our grammatical features so personal pronouns are very uh, uh, very according to the four grammatical features let us see which are the number person case gender so the first one is number number is whether it is singular or plural one or more than one that is the meaning now person what is person here the person speaking the person spoken to or the person spoken about this also you know ah, then uh, means uh, the first person the person is speaking then person spoken is the second person and uh, the person spoken about is the third person i am speaking to my mother about my uh, classmate that is i am the first person my mama is the second person and my classmate is the third person see person you understood no then third one is case whether subject or object means uh, which case it is subject if the noun is subject or the noun is object then next one is gender gender male or female you know then uh, non personal means uh, there is no personal things yes yes now let us see the uh, person number and gender subject object etc now person number and gender subject or object the column we will see first person singular i me means the subject is i object is me yeah first person plural subject is we and object is us then second person singular is you subject is you object is also you then second person plural is you and second person means subject is you and object also is you singular uh, means number is here the singular gender is male so second person singular is he and object is a him then second person means the third person singular is female and she her then uh, singular non personal is third person is it and uh, subject is it then object is also it then plural uh, subject is they and object is them now i think you understood what it means no the personal pronouns are the most important type of pronouns they refer to people things ideas or events four things are there people things ideas or events here first is he does not know classical music that is a person they are fishermen they are also a group of people but personally but it goes at 20 250 kilometers per hour that refers to a, a train a thing no then uh, the when darwin presented the theory of evolution people did, did not believe it that means it is the year refers to the theory that is also refers to an idea so tell me the scores of the match when it goes over the first one event that match no about the match so i think you understood what it means personal pronouns are the pronouns that uh, the personal pronouns are the it is the definition of personal pronouns are
पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस आ से द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रोनाउंस द रफर्स टू पीपल थिंग्स आइडियाज इवेंट्स एक्सेट्रा ना यू अंडरस्टैंड ना फर्स्ट वन इज अ पर्सन सेकंड वन पीपल थर्ड वन अ ट्रेन एंड लाइक दैट ना यस then let us go to the next part no i have already said what is number that is singular and plural person that is a uh, first person second person or third person then case is either subject or a object gender is male or female or uh, there may be non personal things also so in the box it is clearly uh, given and you can see see for you to by heart it. what is the first person the second person what is the third person then what is the number and gender then uh, that is singular plural singular plural that number and gender then subject uh, a special which one is the subject uh, and object second person is which one the first subject and object like that no third person which one is the subject and object so first person i me uh, plural we as second person singular so you will then third person singular male is he him singular female is she her then um, then singular non personal is it it plural non personal is a the then plural personal non personal this is a personal okay now let us go through the exercise anyhow here the exercise is done but it is your duty to you have your textbook so you can do it in your textbook with the pencil so that you can correct it afterwards okay now let us go through the exercise number 1 fill in the blanks in the following passage with the correct personal pronouns yes now correct personal pronouns we have to fill then love dash love wander to the bank of the river with my friends tarun and uh, cheril on weekends that is a uh, tarun and cheril yeah, i love no i i am the first person you yeah. sometimes we would walk all the means here yeah, sometimes dash uh, we uh, we this no walk uh, all the way up to the old bath house which fashion most people but the stories of ghosts and uh, smugglers did not scare dash a little bit scare us many people are afraid but they are not uh, afraid at all she can dash see that shining red ball there hey can you see that shining red ball there shouted tarun as we approached the bath house last saturday evening he was leading us means yeah dash it is coming us from the front he is uh, going first then other two are following him dash looks like a strange cat it looked like a strange cat cheryl said as dash looked hard into the binoculars uh, cheryl is the uh, girl then that's why it's, uh, she it is called no pronoun then let us find out said and uh, uh, tip told ahead means let us find out said i and uh, tiptoed ahead now my friends were following me tarun you know dash here is me tarun was about to say something about uh, i gestured dash to keep silent gestured him to keep silent 
means like that no instead of that making sound he closes his mouth then all understood they have to keep it from behind the bushes close to the old building dash could see that the red object was neither a ball nor a cat means uh, the building now we could see they could now where uh, they were looking they were hiding behind the bushes and um, close to the old building and uh, they we could see the red object was neither a ball nor a cat it was no you know cat no ball is there it was something we had never seen before on the crumbling tiled roof of the old bath house sat a curious creature with a red round and shiny body little legs and a wire like tail dash had two big eyes it had two big eyes that glittered like a i am boys as the slanting rays of the evening sun hit them hit dash is hit them now dash was gone it was gone dash means we crawled forward my but my friends pulled dash back pulled me back ah uh, dash gaze looking for dash are you gays looking for me a voice said from behind yes we mean yeah dash we were so frozen with terror that we dared not turn around and face the speaker when we did all dash we saw was the that pair of glittering embers with no eyelids to cover them so when we did all dash means we so was that pair of glittering embers with no eyelids to cover them see now now children let us continue the lesson the second exercise we have already finished the first exercise and it is written in the book itself anyhow it's better you may continue uh, by in your book uh, it may be dash only then you try to uh, do it by yourself and check with the pdf is given to you Uh, means uh, the textbook is given to you okay then let us go through the exercise second exercise rewrite the following sentences using correct personal pronouns first one sujada says you has a cold here you is underlined that is a uh, uh, has to say the third person now she has a cold personal pronoun your third person should come now help uh, i get out of this cave loud in shouted here i is not suitable your personal pronoun me we have to say so uh, help me get out of this cave to get out of this cave loud in shouted then Uh, yeah the third one i'll pay he 30 rupees for the book it is not suitable so we have to correct it i'll pay instead of he we have to write him 30 rupees uh, for the book now let us go to the uh, next fourth one can we seem the teacher asked i can we sing the teacher asked me instead of i we have to write me then the fifth one him is an honest man your yeah, fifth one instead of him we have to write he is an honest man 
then sixth word she are proud of our country uh, here she is proud of our country we can say her country also okay uh, then uh, both she is she are proud of it is even she her country or our country you can say our also if we want then uh, seventh one as have 30 students in our class here instead of us we have to say we have 30 students in our class then eighth one me have three sisters here uh, we have to say i have three sisters ninth one is uh, king uh, shaha uh, no shaha uh, shaha shahjahan's son put it in put it in prison here king shahjahan's son put it in prison here it we should not say it is not up to a person now so king shahjahan's son put him in a prison then 10th one does this cake have egg in them does this cake have egg in them here too many cakes are not there one cake does this cake it is have uh, does this cake have egg in it not them okay everything's clear no now shall we go to the next one personal pronoun possessive pronouns eh huh? shall go yes now to indicate possession or belonging we add yes to nouns means dog tail friends uh, etc no friends house personal pronouns have special possessive forms to show belonging that's why and s is added no if it is this symbolizes mine there is my uh, this uh, my uh, mama sambrella my father's pen my sister's uh, chapels uh, my sister's rope all this thing the apostrophe s is needed the student so possessive pronouns has uh, the peculiarity that uh, yeah, we have to add an apostrophe s to the nouns means here yeah, dogs tails friends uh, means no house no etc now no it is yes yeah see possessive pronouns are going to see now it is a belongingness is the personal pronouns uh, have poss uh, uh, have possessive pronouns here yeah. um, see we were learning about the personal pronouns there are uh, two kinds of pronouns uh, there are uh, we have already learned then possessive pronouns we see uh, to say that the possession means we are told that we have to add apostrophe as personal pronouns are special possessive forms to show belongingness that's one so personal pronoun i we you he she it they but the uh, possessive pronouns uh, we are telling type one we have to say my our I mean, uh, instead of i my we our you your he his she her it its they their then pronoun type two mine i mine we uh, ours you yours he his she hers it its they theirs that is one it is clear no it's very clear i think 
പോസസീവ് പ്രോനൗൺസ് ആർ ഓഫ് ടു ടൈപ്സ് വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി സീൻ മൈ അവർ യുവർ ഹേസ് ഹർ ഇറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ ആർ കോൾഡ് പോസസീവ് ഡിറ്റർമിനേഴ്സ് ഓർ പോസസീവ് ആഡ്ജക്റ്റീവ്സ് ദ കാം ബിഫോർ നൗൺസ് സി മൈ ബാറ്റ് ദർ ക്യാമറ ഹേസ് സിസ്റ്റർ യ പ്രോനൗൺ കംസ് വേഴ്സ് ദൻ ദ നൗൺ കംസ് ദറ്റ്സ് വൈ it is called possessive adjectives means a bat uh, has something more to say uh, some explanation to bat is my bat uh, camera is their camera sister is his sister the second type of possessive pronouns are mine your ours yours his hers its theirs function independently are shown in these examples that that car is mine which coat is hers uh, there is a very old bungalow these bangles are aminas give me mine let's not put our fishes together mine may attack yours he is both a possessive determiner and an independent possessive pronoun the possessive pronoun each does not have an apostrophe then here the possessive pronoun each does not have an apostrophe each is used as an independent possessive pronoun only in expect in exceptional cases in combination with the uh, with own is it the cat thinks the sofa is its own see yeah uh, now let us go through once more what is uh, this possessive pronoun possessive means uh, one person is uh, taking the ownership of that you know that we are telling possessive the possessions means uh, one person's properties now to indicate possession or belonging we add apostrophe s to nouns dog's tail friend's house so personal pronouns have special possessive forms to uh, show belonging see personal pronoun see possessive the personal pronouns are i we you he she it the possessive uh, pronoun means its form no it uh, special form is the that is type one my our your his her its thus pronoun the type two is mine ours yours his uh, hers its the etc so possessive pronouns are of two types my our his her its and uh, there is called possessive determiners you know you remember okay possessive what it is possessive determiners what are they my our your uh, her its and us its is coming in the other words you know so it's a uh, uh, special uh, both you know uh, type 1 and 2 it is having here also its uh, here also its is that so here he is he is only no say say uh, so now my bad their camera his sister the second type of possessive pronoun mine ours yours his hers its theirs you know here his uh, its no uh, function independently as shown in these examples okay the car is mine the car is my it is not a full sentence no so mine we have to say which coat is hers which coat is her it is incomplete not correct this is a very old bungalow that also there is a uh, we can say uh, so they also we can say these bangles are amina's give me mine here also mine is a special form let us not put our fishes together mine uh, may attack yours see mine and yours is coming here 
he is both uh, his is both a possessive determiner and an independent possessive pronoun so we see his no his uh, independent determiner possessive determiner and a independent determiner okay so the possessive pronoun its does not have an apostrophe so its is used as an independent possessive pronoun only uh, pronoun in only exceptional cases in combination with own here see uh, the cat thinks that sofa is its own see understood no now uh, exercise number 3 choose the correct possessive pronouns to fill in the blanks correctly first one is dash bag as old as dash is your bag as old as mine on sundays uh, santhya cannot stay away from dash computer her computer yeah uh, third one harry is helping anu pack dash shows dash already are already packed her shows his are already packed then the earth revolves on dash axis its axis number 5 dash uh, neighbors borrow dash vacuum cleaner when dash is not working thus ours thus our Yeah, our neighbors borrow our vacuum cleaner when the AC is not working. See how clear it is, no? Sixth one. Uh, the first woman said the child was dash. The second woman said it was her child. Then yeah, first woman said the child was hers. The second woman said it was her child. Then seventh one. When the prince touched the rope. with the dash uh, foot it changed a dash color yeah uh, rock with his foot it changed its color see then is the dog in dash garden dash is the dog in your garden is yours yes it's a question now let us go through the reflexive pronoun now let us go through the reflexive pronoun yes now see reflexive pronouns are pronouns that refer back to nouns or pronouns that occur before them in the same case no Yes. Now I see myself. Ajit bought himself a table lamp. The new pupils introduce themselves to the class. The reflexive pronoun is English. In English, are myself, ourselves, yourself, yourselves, himself, herself, itself, themselves, and oneself. See this you have to learn by heart. Now, then here you is in bracket. You look at yourself in the mirror. Here uh, you is silent. So look at yourself in the mirror. A robot can control itself. That is also uh, no itself is coming here. Reflexive pronouns agree with the nouns or pronouns. they refer to in person number or gender now let us go through the column first person second person third person is that in the topmost part it is personal pronoun reflexive pronoun see first person singular is i and uh, in the um, personal pronoun reflexive pronoun is myself plural is we and ourselves Then second person singular is you yourself plural is also you yourself. 
then uh, third person singular male is he himself singular female is she herself then singular non personal uh, or non human is it it plural is a they themselves okay now i think you understood this now this is a reflexive pronoun see what is reflexive pronoun so reflexive pronouns are pronouns that refer back to nouns or pronouns that uh, come before them in the same clause i see myself ajit bought himself a table lamp the new purpose introduced the themselves to the class say reflexive pronouns are pronouns that refer back to the nouns or pronouns that occur before uh, that occur uh, before them in the same clause so the reflexive pronouns in english are myself ourself yourself yourself himself herself itself themselves and oneself okay then look at yourself in the mirror a robot can control itself that is also a thing no that is a it a robot is itself reflexive pronouns agree with the nouns or pronouns the refer to in person number and gender here it is there gender is also here no he she is coming no? then reflexive pronoun and personal pronoun then fill in the blanks with the correct reflexive pronouns amit said i believe in dash myself amit believes in himself amit do you believe in yourself ranbir prithvi and sanya poured dash glass of milk themselves a glass of milk kavita gave dash some more time to complete the homework herself kavita gave herself some more time to complete the homework a baby cannot feed itself friends help yourself dinner friends dash is yourself how long can one keep fighting for oneself here yeah. oneself is the reflexive pronoun reflexive pronouns are also used for emphasis as in the sentences below see listen properly and uh, look very well no see with attention principal himself came to the class here the principal no one else come to the class only principal came that's why the principal himself he didn't send anybody else he personally came that is the meaning here then the children themselves painted their own room they did not call any painter they did it for themselves then did you uh, row the boat yourself yeah uh, the question is that you did you ask there any help from anybody was it you or someone else who rowed the boat that is the meaning here give this envelope to the landlady herself yeah uh, you only took the envelope and give that person give this envelope to the landlady and not to anyone else that here it is the meaning see himself themselves yourself we are emphasizing that that person should do it that person uh, itself or herself or himself has to do that thing 
the principal himself has to go to the uh, that uh, class no if not the children will not uh, attend if he is sending anybody else that is the emphasizing the personal pronoun you see reflex that is reflexive pronoun see so principal is uh, we have to see principal principal himself children themselves then uh, you yourself someone else no was it you or someone else no here yeah. uh, that's no a landlady uh, herself no then uh, you see the give envelope to the landlady herself okay i think you understood this no when used for emphasis reflexive pronouns have the function of adding extra information removing them will not make the sentence ungrammatical but when reflexive pronouns are used for referring back they are indispensable okay let us go to the examples no uh, give the envelope to the landlady herself give the envelope to the landlady here uh, same uh, the both the sentences are correct only but when we want to give emphasis then we are telling herself okay uh, jaydev heard himself during the game jaydev heard during the game that is enough but who uh, hurt him that is a uh, he himself only hurt that's why giving emphasis referring uh, for referring back no here instead of not emphasizing who did it that we have the uh, giving uh, the answer also here when a reflexive pronoun is used for emphasis its position is either immediately after the noun or pronoun it was posed to or towards the end of the sentence i myself you see pronoun is coming uh, first and myself is coming second rode the boat i rode the boat myself here also here pronoun came first and uh, the emphasis now here i is the pronoun and myself came last now here i is the pronoun came first then second word is a myself that is a difference here so reflexive pronoun is used for emphasis its position is either immediately after the pronoun or a pronoun refers to uh, or uh, towards the end of the sentence okay now you see Uh, now you go through this um, part of the lesson very well read and read and read then you will understand very well this because you have the previous knowledge and i have explained you and you can ask me also when you will do the exercise by yourself not copying if copying you will not be able to answer in the Uh, test paper so if you are doing by yourself then no need of even studying also you it will be imprinted in your uh, in your intelligence okay in your heart so do it like that now let us stop this audio here then let us continue afterwards okay dear loving children let us continue our third part of this lesson now let us see the exercise number 5 add reflexive pronouns and rewrite the sentences emphasizing highlighter nouns or pronouns children you must do your homework Yeah, children, you must do your homework yourselves. 
Second, Anita cleaned the house. Anita herself cleaned the house. I met the actor. I met the actor himself. I met the actor himself. Vimala complained to the managers. Vimala complained to the managers themselves. Rafi and Sunita repaired their computer. Rafi and Sunita themselves repaired their computer. Sixth one, will you carry out the garbage? Will you yourself carry out the garbage? Garbage. Seven, that the TV stand is expensive. The TV stand itself is very expensive. Uh, eighth one. Can Sunny perform at our school? Can Sunny himself perform at our school? Yes. Uh, now it is written here only. Then you can understand very well, I think. Okay. Now let us go to the exercise number six. Rewrite the following statement sentences moving the reflexive pronouns correctly to another part of the sentence. See, here after dinner we ourselves wash the plate. See, we ourselves wash the plate. After dinner we wash the plates ourselves. Second one, I myself, I cannot build a wall myself. I myself cannot build a wall. Uh, then third one, you must clean your room yourself. You yourself must clean the, your room. Next one, uh, Gandhiji himself led the campaign. Gandhiji led the campaign himself. Um, Sujada may write the article herself. Sujada herself may write the article. Then, what is relative pronoun? Relative pronoun is the sixth one. No? No, this is the fourth one. Fourth pronoun we were studying. See? It is relative because it connects a noun to a group of words that follow uh, and describe the noun. Okay? Relative pronouns connect a noun to a group of words that follow and describe the See, your yeah, examples are given and how it is connected, it is given correctly. The man, the man. See the man uh, climbed to the mountain was marked English. Yeah, English. Yeah, who is the connecting word? That's why relative pronoun is who here. Yeah. No, the man is connected with the climb. The mountain was marked English. English. So, Anirudha has a pen that changes color. Yeah, that is the uh, relative pronoun because uh, the first part is related to the second part with the help of that pronoun that. Then the next one also it is like that. On the train Sarah met an old woman whose son was a magician. Here also whose is the uh, connecting word uh, that is the relative pronoun. Scientists discover a fossil which was a million Years old, which is connecting the two parts of the sentence. Then let us go through the next one. Relative pronoun in English are whom, who, who, whom, whose, which, and that. The table below shows the use of relative pronoun in different forms. See, refers to people, refers to things, not relative pronoun. How it is? Subject form is who and uh, uh, object form is home uh, when refers to people. Then when refers to things, the object form is 
which that then possessive form is uh, both in refer uh, to people and the things is a whose say in english who is said instead of whom uh, yes in, in informal english uh, we can use uh, this who instead of whom no then the player whom we saw uh, on tv was akhil the player who saw on tv was akhil so who also we are in colloquial language we are using the relative pronoun who whom which and that uh, uh, can be omitted in some uh, some cases when they refer to the object of the verb uh, in a, a group of descriptive words that follow them see your yeah, the relative pronoun who this for no who whom which and that can be omitted in some case when they refer to the object of the verb in the group of descriptive words that follows them yeah the player whom it is the object now we saw on tv was a hill yeah so is verb whom is object the player we saw on tv was a hill so the cup that we row boat is broken uh, here that is object and the boat is verb the cup we row boat is broken see now let us see the seventh exercise fill in the blanks with the correct related pronouns it is written for you see the man uh, whose car did not have a number plate was stopped by police the company which makes electric scissors uh, is in jaipur the earphones dash no which i want are uh, not available in any shops here then the painter who yeah dash is uh, covered no who uh, chopped off his on yours was vincent von vincent von g so the cranes dash no that uh, come to our village in winter are from siberia then uh, the way to the market Uh, bola met a man dash whose goat was for sale say now the boy whom the teacher called super later become famous inventor then uh, see that uh, uh, seventh means uh, seventh exercise is also finished it is very easy now then uh, you have to do it by yourself not copying it then in your book it is blank and you have to write uh, it from memory not looking this then if it is possible then interrogative pronouns what is interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns are question words there are five interrogative pronouns which are they who whom whose which that the interrogative pronouns expecting what are um, accepting what are uh, identical with relative pronouns however their grammatical nature and uses were greatly were greatly were uses very greatly no so interrogative pronoun grammatical nature of first who uh, grammatical nature subject and refers to people who also uh, grammatical nature object but and refers to people then who is the possessive way uh, in grammatical nature and refers to people which which is uh, the subject and predicate people and things what subject and object people and things so people with a reference to their profession no? what is your father he is a postman who is the girl in the photo 
So, I have to say the girl in the photo. Who is the girl in the photo? A question, no? Whom did the teacher praise yesterday? Whose are those lunch boxes? Which is Suma's sister, the one sitting in the bench or uh, the one standing? What is the color of the mug? In informal speech, no? who, who can replace whom as an object? Means as an object form, interrogative pronoun. Say, so in informal speech, who can replace to who for whom, no? As an object. Then, whom did the presenter introduce first? Or who did the presenter introduce first? So, uh, I think you feel this one, no? That's uh, who did the uh, presenter introduce first? Interrogative pronouns whose, which and what are the determiner function uh, that modifying noun. Interrogative pronouns is the determiner function is also called interrogative objectives. Did you understand? Interrogative pronouns are whose, which, what uh, have a determiner function. That's why modify, it is a modifying noun. The interrogative pronouns with the determiner function are also called interrogative objectives. Adjectives it is called. Not simply uh, the other one. Then, whose daughter is Kamala? Which flag is Australia's? What color is Marina's? Marin's t-shirt? All these things now are helpful to you. And uh, your father is sitting at home, so you can ask and consult. And if any doubt, you can ask the teacher. No? Exercise number 8. Fill in the blanks using correct interrogative pronouns. Fill in the blanks using correct in interrogative pronouns. Yes. Now we are going to... Uh, do that. Exercise number eight. Verse number one. Dash is singing in the other room. Who is singing in the other room? Then second one. What happened to Oliver in the end? Third. Whom should I meet to register for the summer camp? Summer camp. Okay. Who's is the that cycle which uh, uh, a flat tire which is the switch of the fan in the following statements uh, sentences there underline the in temperature you see in the following sentences under the interrogative pronouns uh, which determiner which is with a determiner uh, function and a circle the others yes now the first one what so you have to underline what Interrogative pronoun is the determiner. If there is an interrogative pronoun with a determiner uh, function and circle the others. What flavor is what flavor of ice cream do you like the best? Here, um, this other kind of a interrogative. Sentences with a determiner function and a circle uh, the um, others. Then second one, whose was the bag left in the school bus? Then yes. Then which train should I go here? Which is the train that goes to Kanpur? Mm 
then see number exercise number 10 now let us see so write questions using interrogative pronouns to get the given uh, sentences and answers so you have to uh, write the question for the these answers then this is the uh, tenth question now so uh, this brother left the fridge open what is it then fridge open yeah who left the fridge open then it can it is easily clear then whom did the astronomers see through the telescope yeah uh, the astronomers saw a new planet through the telescope so uh, we have to say this now those uh, whom did the astronomers see through the Roshna's grandfather is a judge Roshna's uh, grandfather is a judge then the question should be what Roshna's grandfather what grandfather so the astronomer saw new pleasant new planet through the telescope then third one Roshna's grandfather is a judge then that also we can make as a what is Roshna's grandfather then the coat on the hook is my uncle's whose is that coat on the hook then uh, Rajna's house is in the one on the left which is Rajna's house so yes so let us see then followed by when followed by a noun they function as demonstrative determiners yes when followed by the noun they function as demonstrative determiners demonstrative means adjectives this novel is amazing this lighthouse is very old these turtles look like a moving rocks those shores are not mine remember that that is the that is the only that is not uh, not always a demonstrative pronoun or determiner it is the so remember that that is not always a demonstrative pronoun or a determiner it is only a relative pronoun so okay now let us see the exercise number 11 use correct demonstrative pronoun in the following sentences arrows means you see uh, the arrows indicate whether the reference is to the something nearby or something in distant nearby is a down arrow distant is a uh, right arrow then uh, did you understand now uh, nowadays it is so much you now many people are uh, know how to then the first one are those comments those is the thing we should have uh, put inside then second these blocks of marbles 
came from the quarries of Rajasthan. Yes, those are not rain clouds whose huts are uh, this. That is a great idea. That is a great idea. Yes. Exercise number 12. Rewrite the sentences. Now, let us say this year, um, this exercise we will continue in the next audio. Okay. Now, uh, read and read and read, then only uh, you can understand uh, well. And then you have to do like this. You have to, uh, means, uh, take your textbook and write it in your notebook and try to write it there without looking. After reading and studying, you have to check your memory, okay? Now, best of luck. Students, let us continue the fourth part of this lesson, exercise number 12. Rewrite these sentences using the demonstrative pronouns as demonstrative determiners. Demonstrative pronouns are coming, the sixth one, see? Yes. We have already learned what it is, its definition and example. Then in the 11th chapter. Now, the, this is an interesting example. This example is interesting. So, you see, uh, one is uh, giving, no? Read the sentences using demonstrative pronouns as a demonstrative determinants. Demonstrative pronouns, we have to use it as a demonstrative determinants. This is an in, interesting term example. This example is uh, interesting. This is that an empty box. Is that an empty box? Those were difficult years for our family. No one buy this, though they are beautiful cars. Why don't you wear this? It is my, it is such a lovely frog. So let us see the answer. Now, is that box empty? That is the proper way, no? Then say the third one. You see, uh, those who are difficult years for our family. You can see what happened. So, these years were difficult for our family. No one buys these cars, though they are beautiful. Why don't you wear this frock? It is such a lovely one. Why don't you wear this? It is such a lovely It's a lovely one. No? Yes. Now let us go through the indefinite pronouns. What is it? Indefinite pronouns. That is the seventh and the last one. No? Pronouns which don't have a specific reference are called indefinite pronouns. Anyone, something else, some, each, most, anyone, either, etc. Definite pronouns also express quantity. Both are my friends. Both means two is surely. Uh, we have 20 fingers and each has a special function. So, uh, number came here. Here he is fooled many with the same story. If it is milk, give me some. Uh, many indefinite pronouns also function as a determinants, a type of, type of adjectives. That is, they come before nouns. 
then both friends each finger many people some milk yes then many uh, indefinite pronouns also function as determiners that is they come before nouns both friends each finger many people some milk everything is uh, like that this no uh, these uh, pronouns are coming in front of the nouns okay there are two types of indefinite pronouns the first type consists of a compound definite pronouns they end in one body or thing someone somebody and something anyone anybody anything no one nobody nothing everyone everybody everything so compound indefinite pronouns do not function as determiners some friends yes now see some friends any room every kind they take singular verbs everyone like ice cream nobody drives as fast as ama then something is missing from my leg you see uh, third words no are uh, cut because they are useless i think the second type of indefinite pronouns is a group they can also function as determiners few most many more another both little some say then as pronoun all are having lunch together many try to climb this wall but most fail Uh, both are great ideas you see this pronoun many is there having uh, lunch is the then uh, welcome also is the as determiner all children many climbers both ideas yes yes now all are having lunch together many fry means as pronoun it is many fry to climb, try to climb this wall but most of it both are great ideas and it is very clear for you know now let us go through the exercise no number 13 exercise number 13 and 14 is there so the uh, the tour guide said there were many uh, bears in that area i did not uh, i did not see any one there so there are 20 candle in the box bring dash here yeah, bring all here uh, can dash solve this puzzle can anyone solve this puzzle nita so um nita so no one in the classroom here yeah, no one is the apt one no uh, the theater was guarded by two policemen neither was a person who the robbers attacked the theater was guarded by two policemen neither was um, yes then the next one is we see the next one is a uh, dash had their share for the cake everybody had the 
their share for the cake. Then, uh, least left means a uh, little left me. Uh. Neither was present, it is. Yes. Now, everybody had their share in the cake. Now, uh, left me little. Here, seventh. Something is better than nothing. Okay. If you have got toffees, give me a, give me a few. None is not good for you, is it? Now, exercise number 14. Underline the indefinite pronouns in the following sentences and write in the box whether each of them functions as a pronouns or determiner. Some children hate milk. So we have to underline the indefinite pronouns in the following uh, sentences. Write in the box whether each of them functions as pronouns or determiner. Some children hate milk. Has everyone got into the bus? There are three elephants in this zoo. Each has a separate enclosure. The ship had enough food to last for three months. Both sailors were carrying swords. Then, this club has 200 members, most of them retired policemen. Many shops of this street sell leather goods. No parking or either is or either side, side of the road. No parking, no both sides. So, it is a prohibited. So, uh, that is the traffic signal it is given there, you see. Then, so here what we have to do, we have to uh, underline the indefinite pronouns in the following sentences. Write in the box uh, and each functions as a pronoun or determiner. Some children hate milk, that is a determiner. Have you ever, has everyone got into the bus? Uh, pronouns. Then there are three elephants in the zoo. Each has a separate enclosure. Each means a, that is a um, elephant. The ship had enough food. Here enough is the um, word no food uh, to last for three months. Both sailors were carrying swords. Means that both is the word it is here then this club you see this club you can see better now so sixth one this club has 200 members most are retired policemen there also it is a pronoun Many shops on this street sell leather goods, that is a determiner. No parking on the either side of the need, that is also a determiner. Now children, uh, see this. Uh, you try to, first of all, you try to read one more once, at least with the full attention, this part of the Mm, this part, not this part of the lesson. Uh, it will help you to understand, help you to protect yourselves from these mosquitoes. Anyhow, so uh, let us see how much money we have to send. That are uh, then. So, as I told before. You try to learn very well 
because you have so much previous knowledge in the previous classes you have already learned what is pronoun then don't waste time okay then bye